I want to talk in this video about auto commit mode. Now this mode, which is the default for most databases, is one in which it acts like every single command you type in is wrapped up in a little tiny transaction, as though there was an implicit begin and commit before and after everything you type in. I showed you an example on this slide where I want to insert two rows into the a table called account, and I'm not in an explicit transaction here. So what happens is you can kind of think of it as that there's a begin right before I do the first insert and then a commit, and then a begin again, I do the next insert, and then a commit. Now you can turn off auto commit mode, and in our database, which is the Postgres database, it's done with a command backslash set auto commit off, and the auto commit is in all caps. And now what happens is the database is always in a transaction mode. So you have to do a commit or a rollback explicitly when you want things to be saved or undone. The database administrator may set this up as being the default for your particular database. Uh, what this means is that you no longer have to type in the word begin because it's already done for you. As soon as you turn off auto commit mode, then you are within a transaction here. So I showed you an example here where I want to delete, let's say, one account from the accounts table, and then I do a commit in order to make that change permanent, and then I want to transfer money from one account to another, so I need to do two updates, and I'll do a commit when that one is done. Now the downside of auto commit mode is, well, you have to do the commit or rollback yourself, so if something were to happen like uh, you type in a whole bunch of commands, um, you forget you're in auto commit mode, and then you do a syntax error, then you now have no choice but to do a rollback and all the stuff you did is now just undone. Uh, what can also happen is uh, you, you've done a whole bunch of commands and then maybe you accidentally close your window or something happens to your internet connection and your connection is lost and the database at that point will just automatically roll back everything you did. So the downside of auto commit mode is you have to do it, for, do it yourself and if you forget to do the commit or the rollback, and particularly if you forget to do the commit, none of your work is saved. Let me show you some examples of auto commit mode. So let's get these slides out of the way, and here's our connection to the database. And uh, if I go backslash set, I can see these variables that um, are set. And the one that we're interested in right now is auto commit is currently on. And we're going to do set auto commit, all, all in caps, off. And now if we do a backslash set, we can see that now auto commit is off, and now we are, have essentially begun a transaction. So if I do select star from account, we can see that our tables here, this is the same data we had from the last video. And if I now do a delete from account where um, account number is, let's say, 110, I can see that 110 is gone, but now I need to do a commit in order to make that change permanent. And notice that I didn't have to type begin at all, it just did a begin for me, and now I did a commit, and it has implicitly done another begin. So let's do, let's say, let's delete um, 150, and let's also delete 170, and then maybe I decide uh, I, I don't want to do those two at all, so I can do a rollback. And if I now do a select, we can see that 150 and 170 are back. Uh, if I turn auto commit mode uh, on again, then uh, I go back to the mode where I have to do a begin and a commit or rollback myself explicitly. Okay, so that's auto commit mode. Now, if you want to make the change permanent for yourself, you'll need to look at your database documentation. Um, like I said earlier, your database administrator may set this up for you, but usually users have the ability to turn this mode on or off themselves. When I did it using the backslash set command here, it only applies for this session. As soon as I log out of the database and log back in, I'm back into regular auto commit mode. Um, if I want to make it permanent, then I need to put it into a settings file that gets loaded every time I, I start a new session. Okay, so that's uh, a little bit about auto commit mode. Uh, thanks for watching.